on a TA video. I'm going to be diving into Dogecoin today uh, and just doing some TA for Doge. So, you know, I'm looking at the weekly time frame here. I've got a couple of EMAs on. I've got the 20, which is this yellow EMA and this uh, red line here, which is the 55. Uh, and basically what I think we're looking at right now for Doge, okay, just looking at the weekly time frame from where we are. So you can see we had that massive blow off top, didn't we, in, in 2021. And then, you know, since then we've been correcting, we, we, we retraced and we've, we've lost um, the EMAs of support, okay. And, and from back here at this point, um, back in uh, January, you know, you've been under these EMAs, under these EMAs, okay. And you've just been coming into them as resistance continuously and being pushed down. So right now, what I feel like for for uh, Doge, okay, is we've got this level of resistance above us, okay. So this is our resistance right there. And that's a price of 0 0.090, okay. So 0 0.09 cents. And then you've got this ascending level of support currently, Currently speaking, you've got this ascending level of support here for Doge. Okay, so we are technically speaking coiling up in some sort of pattern here like this where you've come up, you've got resistance, you're coming back. As long as you hold this cluster of support and hold this trend line of support, you know, you are, I think we are looking for a retest of this 20. You know, if you do break through that, I think you're going to push up and come and retest 0 0.090 again. And you've got this 55 creeping down on your heads. Okay, so potentially if you do get above the 20, it's a big if, okay, because this 20 EMA, you can see, has been acting as resistance ever since you've been under it in a downtrend, okay? So ever since you've hit your head on it, you've come down, come up, but hit your head on it again, come down, come up, but hit your head on it again. Right now, are we coming down to hit our heads back on that and get continuation of this downtrend, okay? Or are you looking to hold support, break through the 20 and retest the 55? Okay, so right now it's pretty much crunch time and, and you can see here, okay, as long as you're holding, as I said, as long as you're holding this area for support and we do start to see a bounce off here with a retest of this 20, I think at the moment you're, you're basically on thin ice and you're just, you're just holding on by, by a thread. Um, so what you can see here, okay, if we zoom in a little bit more, potentially you're getting some sort of squeeze here, okay, because you've got this little uh, level of resistance, okay, and you've got this ascending support. So right now you're in some sort of triangle like this, you're caught and you're getting tighter and tighter and you are looking for a break. So in the near short term, uh, on the weekly, if you do get a, a breakout, okay, I'll give you some technical targets to the upside or downside. If we do start to break out, you can see that that to the upside, okay, if you do start to break out of this triangle, okay, and break through this resistance line, okay, I do believe you are looking to push up and retest this, this weekly 20 EMA. Okay, which would give us a long opportunity from current price of around 18 to 18 percent. Okay, uh, and that would be a, a long up for me. Uh, but then equally, if we was to lose that, okay, you can see that if we lost support right now, you're coming back down. And for me, a minimum target would be 0 0.052. Okay, and that would be a, a, a retracement of current price of around another 10 to 12 percent. So do keep an eye on that, okay, in your charts. Get this resistance line in, okay, and get this ascending level of support that you're currently holding. And when you get a close above, okay, and and, and hold support or a close below and lose, and lose uh, sorry, a hold above and break resistance or a low below and lose support, then do look for that opportunity to either go long or short. Okay, it's good to look at the weekly time frames so a bit more of a zoomed out perspective. Now, one thing you could consider here, okay, is this gap between these EMAs. Okay, whenever you get a gap like that and the price is so far away from these EMAs, you do tend to get a drawback and a pullback into them. Okay, and you can see that we did have that at the 20. But the first time you, you retrace to the 20, you don't normally break that. Okay, you look to come back. And if you hold a higher level of support, so if this holds and we do start to break out and get the push up here, um, you know, it, it does show that you're being pulled back to these EMAs and, and then another decision will be made in the near future of which we will hopefully keep an eye on moving forward. So for me, uh, right now, okay, you're holding this ascending level of support right here. As long as this holds and you don't start to lose this trend line and you can break out and retest this 20. If you start to see a break about and a close above that 20, my next long opportunity is up to this 55, okay, of which I think you'll be coming back to retest this as resistance. So if you did something like this, came up, came back down to the 20 as it was starting to coil up and then you got your push up to this 55, okay, and then you get some sort of squeeze and a breakout will happen. Uh, at, at some point within this 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 time frame okay you could just come up like this come back for support and hold and break out um but that's only if you hold this ascending level of support okay because right now if we get a fib back on okay from this high back down to this low okay so that's a zero to the one you can see that right now okay you've had this one fib you came up in an impulsive move okay ran into the 20 you've come back and right now you're holding the 786 so we're holding 0 0.056 if you start to see a roll and a loss of that, that's your short up back down to this one fib. Okay, that's your short up back down to the one fib. 
okay because you can see again uh, if I just get that back on sorry let's get rid of these trend lines quickly oops sorry let's get rid of these trend lines quickly why do I keep doing that okay right so you can see we've got this one fib okay we have this impulsive move up to the 20 EMA on the weekly now we've come back down and we're looking to hold a higher level of support so you've gone from the one fib down here and you've come up fell back to support on the 786 if you start to lose this okay that's when it could be quite negative if you hit your head here and start to come down and lose the 0786 you are looking to retrace back down to 0 0.049 okay and you'd be doing you just basically come up and you're in a reversal wave back down to where you came from which was here so do keep your eyes out on that okay it's all about holding that ascending level of support okay holding this ascending level of support right now when you're coiling up in this triangle okay if you break this out go long okay and you're in a, a long up uh basically where did we say we was in a long up to you're basically in a long up up to the 382 okay at 0 0.071 lose that okay lose support here you're, you're potentially losing the 786 and you're retracing back down to this one fib and that's what we said in the near short term okay so do get these in your charts these support and resistance line these fibonacci's okay but right now as long as you're holding this low you've got a higher level of support if you used to come up now come back and hold the the 0618 okay and then start to coil up like this i do think you are potentially looking at look, looking at a breakout okay and and potentially oh, another thing you can also see here sorry i notice things as i go along um okay you've got this this resistance right here so potentially you've got this resistance point you've come down you've come up to this resistance point if you come up that you can see that this 20 is going to act as resistance so if you come back and if you keep holding high levels of support as long as you keep holding high levels of support it's fine okay you just don't want to lose this 786 because if you do start to close below that you are going to retrace down to this one fib okay well yeah i'm starting to get a bit a bit a bit lost and a bit ahead of myself right now anyway guys man um but yeah look you are in ascending level of support as long as you can hold this and start to coil up okay and create some sort of larger pattern you then I, I think things are looking okay for now i will monitor it moving forward again okay, guys but that's a quick update for you on on doge on the weekly time frame when in doubt zoom out i hope you enjoyed today's content if you did please do like comment share and subscribe until next time from chartnet ta peace out